So President Obama uh, increased fuel efficiency in cars and at the time of course the right wing went nuts. Oh my god he's going to destroy the economy, the gas prices are going to be through the roof. We're all going to lose our jobs. Now of course the reality is we lost 8 million jobs under George W. Bush when we had a huge economic crash. Since then we've actually added a ton of jobs. Unemployment is lower than what Mitt Romney promised at the end of his term, which is like 2 years from now. So oops, Obama did in under 2 years what Mitt Romney said he would bravely and incredibly do in 4 years. Okay. So unemployment's pretty good. Not all of our problems are, are solved, but gas prices uh, were incredibly low for a while and they're fairly low today. So none of those nightmares came true. But the good part of it did come true and almost no one is talking about it. First of all, according to the Union of Concerned Scientists, 2013 cars are emitting 9% less carbon pollution than in 2010. Now, that's very, very important. That's helping to save the environment. It also does something else, it saves you money. Okay, so I'm going to get to that in a second and then I'm going to need to thank you from all the right wingers to President Obama on this issue. Now if you don't care about the environment, you don't care about your kids, you don't care about climate change, you don't care about pollution, you're still going to need to thank President Obama. So let's explain the rest. According to a new report from the Environmental Protection Agency, the auto industry beat out domestic greenhouse gas emission standards by a wide margin in 2013 with cars getting an average of 1.4 more miles per gallon than required. So they're doing even better than expected. And this also defeats that stupid talking point of, oh, this is such an onerous burden on the car companies, you're going to cost them so much money, they'll never be able to do it. It turns out not only did they do it, they did it earlier than expected. Vehicles from 2013 achieved an all time record fuel economy of 24.1 miles per gallon a 0.5 miles per gallon increase over 2012 and an increase of nearly 5 uh, miles per gallon in the last decade, which is a huge number. Now we're going to get to the ramifications of that for you. The CAFE standards covering vehicles made between 2012 and 2025 are projected to save 12 billion barrels of oil, cut 6 billion metric tons of greenhouse gases and save drivers more than 8 thousand dollars in fuel costs. Now some of the results have already come in. Now this is projected based on those results what will happen between 2012 and 2025. When they say eight thousand dollars they're talking about per car. So everybody that owns a car in America, which is a lot of folks, you owe President Obama eight thousand bucks. The Republicans keep talking about oh we're for tax cuts etc. How's this for a tax cut? Every time you buy a car, you save $8,000 in effect. That's $8,000 over the life of that car that you would have paid in extra gas money. It's not fake, it's not hypothetical. You would have paid more because you wouldn't have gotten as good gas mileage. It wouldn't have been as efficient. Turns out the government can do something right. You pass a law. The main point of the law was to make sure there's less carbon in the air. That worked, okay? Saving the earth is not a bad thing, it's a good thing. On top of that, since the cars are more efficient, you don't have to get as much gas. And you save $8,000. I believe that warrants, uh, thanks, Obama. But in reality, by the way, let me also take a shot at progressives like myself. Uh, I was not sold on how much President Obama was fighting uh, in regards to climate change and, and getting the right rules passed. Now there's still room for improvement, but overall you got to give him credit here, credit where credit is due. He passed these laws, it made a huge difference, uh, we have a lot less carbon in the air and we've all saved a ton of money. So facts are an amazing thing when you find out about it and how many people in the mainstream media are talking about this incredibly important report. How many people are talking about how you all saved $8,000 a piece? Not very many, right? But when you find out the facts, it turns out well, you know what? President Obama on some counts might have done a hell of a lot better job than you realize.